Hello and welcome to my channel. You know how a lot of people have been on the Palestinian side during this war between Israel and Palestine, right? Now we have a lot of people talking about this issue. Celebrities, politicians, to mention but just a few. Well, this is not about who is wrong and what not but this is about humanity seeing the numbers of people being unalived and yet some people are still supporting israel now the video i'm about to share is an evidence of that and in this uh, video clip a lady is meant to apologize for what she says in her video about this war let's take a look at this clip how did the holocaust happen how did an entire nation stand by and watch jews get murdered hi my name's miriam I'm an Orthodox Jew and I share what my life is like. They used propaganda to dehumanize us, to vilify us, to make us seem like we were less than humans. So then when they went and did horrible things, they felt like their actions were justified. If you say, I'm not anti-Jews, I'm anti-Zionists, who do you think Zionists are? This is propaganda once again being used to justify the king of Jewish people. Another propaganda term being used is calling Israelis colonizers. Jews are indigenous to the land of Israel. We have been living there for close to 4,000 years, and Judaism is the oldest Abrahamic religion. Jews have lived in Israel before Christianity and Islam existed as religions. And if anybody tells you other otherwise, they're trying to rewrite history. Now there's going to be two types of people in my comment section that are going to be spreading hate. One, the people that are truly anti-Semitic and are going to be furious that I am calling out these truths. And two, the people that don't want to admit that they fell for the propaganda. The same type of propaganda that the Nazis used against us. We say never again, but never again is right now. I need you to use your critical thinking and realize that terrorist groups like Hamas, Hezbollah, ISIS, don't just want Zionists dead, they want all Jews dead. The former leader of Hamas is calling for a day of jihad, a day of terror, to be taken against Jews everywhere in the world. This is literally history repeating itself. My Bubby survived the Holocaust because a non-Jewish family hid her in their homes risking their own lives because they didn't listen to propaganda. They listened to their own moral compass. And I need you to do the same. And if you can't, please unfollow me. And one last note, you can support Jews living in Israel and still condemn the actions of the Israeli government because in war, nobody wins. My heart goes out to the innocent Israelis and Palestinians on both sides peace in the middle east like i said earlier that uh, this is all about humanity and seeing someone saying things that are a seem off or not uh, showing remorse or sympathy what is happening in gaza is kind of crazy like seeing how people are reacting to this issue trust me someone just can't say that well after she made that video she was forced to apologize which she has done by making an apology video now the good news is that i will share her apology video as well at the end of the video so make sure to stick around and watch this video to the end because trust me you wouldn't want to miss out on what she said in her apology video for now let's check out these teachers israelis colonizers this woman absolutely terrifies me and i'm going to tell you the reason why since the ethnic cleanse of Palestine has hit the news yet again, she's done nothing but loudly and proudly spread misinformation and propaganda. But what's most horrifying to me is the fact that she's a nurse. I'm someone with a chronic illness, so people that have this ideology are the perfect breeding ground for eugenic ideologies. It's people with this ideology, which is the reason why we have such high mortality rates in black women and other POC women in childbirth. Someone should really look into this woman because she is absolutely unhinged. But never again is right now. I want to be very delicate in how I respond to you in this video right now. I'm very sensitive and very emotional right now. There has been over 700 Palestinian children unalive, confirmed on my timeline. Numbers are still rising. But since the Holocaust, which your Bubba survived, there has been at least 19 more genocides. That doesn't even include the reservation schools where the unalive native children. In your mind of thinking, never again meant never again for you and your people. I didn't mean it for humanity in general. You don't want to see humanity do better and get better. As long as your people get what they want, you're fine. 
You start your video off by saying, how did the Holocaust happen? You go on to explain the dehumanization of your people. And I'm getting emotional right now because I really do understand how you feel. It's horrible. It really is horrible to see your people dehumanized and suffering. You know, you want to know how I know? This. This is how I know. 90% of the time when I learn something new about my history, it hurts me right here. Me to know that my people were treated so differently because of something that they couldn't control. Well, kind of like how the innocent people in Palestine can't control what Hamas does. But they're the ones that are being attacked for it. How did the Rwanda genocide of the Tutsi people happen? Because if you want to get technical with it, colonizers went down there and separated those people first. Went down there, caused a divide between those people, stole what they can, and then left. You also say if you're anti-Zionist, that means you're anti-Jew. That's not true. Almost every single religion on this earth has extremists. It's just a matter of facts. I'm a Christian and I'm anti-church. In my opinion, I've seen them cause more harm than good. That is exactly what Israel is doing right now, causing more harm than good. You're saying that people are falling for all of this propaganda when it seems like Israel is the only one actually benefiting from all the propaganda going on right now. Israel is the one that's being supported in the news. Israel is the one that's being backed from Canada and America. Israel is getting all the support from all the celebrities. So much so that celebrities are posting pictures of dead Palestinian children claiming that they are Jewish children. So if there is propaganda going on right now, Palestine is not benefiting at all from it. If you open up your mouth right now and tell me that the media and the news has ever been kind to the Middle East, I will call you a bold-faced liar. Because even when they don't have anything to do with the problem, somehow their name still gets thrown in there. When Russia and Ukraine were going through prime war all i saw on cnn was oh this is not normal maybe if it was the middle east it would seem more normal but you don't get to sit in your high tower and look down on them and tell them that they are benefiting from propaganda when it is not true at all if you really truly care about never again why have you never spoken up about the genocide happening in china right now against chinese muslims don't worry i'll wait because never again only applies to you land of israel um no, they're not. Saying Jews are indigenous to Palestine is like saying I'm indigenous to Germany. First, let's understand what indigenous people are. So I went to the UN's website for the definition or the band of thieves. So you can't tell me it's like pro-indigenous people or pro-Palestinian or whatever. According to the UN, there's about 370 million indigenous people in about 70 countries worldwide. What makes someone indigenous? Well, it's people that practice unique traditions that retain their social, cultural, economic, and political characteristics that are distinct from those of the dominant societies in which they live. And so what's the dominant society in Israel? Israel. <laughs> it's Israeli society. Just that definition alone disregards Jewish people as indigenous to Israel or Palestine. And then before the 1940s, there was no specific and distinct Jewish or Israeli culture. Don't get me wrong, Jewish people practice the same holidays, but you know, they all spoke different languages. They had different customs depending on where they are. That's why the Hebrew language was created by Zionists. They created the Hebrew language to create a culture in Israel. So the only people indigenous to the state of Israel or the land of Israel or Palestine are Palestinian people. Zionists in Israel that have become the dominant society, the colonialist power in that area. It's the Palestinian people that are having to retain their culture. So Jews saying they're indigenous to Israel is like me saying I'm indigenous to Germany because my mom and dad's families are from Germany. Despite the fact that there's no dominant society oppressing me. Despite the fact that I don't retain any cultural characteristics from Germany. It's, it's purely a Zionist argument to get us to concede that Jewish people have the right to colonize Palestine. Just under a year ago, I made this video about Miriam and it did pretty well. But over the last few days, I've been getting a lot of weird comments on it. It wasn't until I saw stitches of her video that made me realize why. I think she deleted it, but in it she basically said that if you're anti-Zionist, you're anti-Semitic, which is obviously extremely problematic. But then I started seeing videos like this. No hate to the creator, and when I say you, I mean all of you. What did you expect? She built her entire platform on being an Orthodox Jew and the many rules that come with it, a lot of which seem very odd and are out of place in this day and age that they still follow to a T. And yet you're confused she could hold an extreme view? Have you somehow made it to adulthood and not realized the ramifications of religions throughout history? Like, I liked Miriam for her personality and the way that she was teaching about her religion, but I'm not naive. I knew there had to be something coming around the bend because that's how it works with extremely religious people. I'm just shocked that y'all are shocked. Like, how do you think what's happening right now started happening. I'ma really need y'all to pull your heads out your asses when it comes to religion. They felt like their actions were justified. From probably like the ripe age of nine years old till now, 24, 
I have always been so intrigued with the Holocaust. I could never understand how something like this could happen, why something like this could happen, how people could not do anything for so long, why they thought Jews needed to be wiped off the earth. Like how I just I couldn't understand it. I've like read every like almost every book, every movie. I my uncle took me to the Holocaust Museum because that's how like intrigued I was on this and still am. So knowing so much about the Holocaust and no I'm not Jewish either. But knowing so much about the Holocaust and then hearing everything that that woman said about how the Nazis were able to manipulate people into thinking that Jews were awful, that they were less than human and used propaganda to make people think that like they were just better off without them. How can you guys not see that that's the same thing that is happening to the Palestinians? Israel is the Nazis in this case. And I don't want to hear anyone with your anti-Semi, anti-Semitic shit. Fuck out of here. This is facts. This is facts, okay? Jews were taken from their homes, put in concentration camps, put in small ghettos. Palestinians were taken from their homes and put into an open-air prison, the Gaza Strip. Jews were not able to just have water, food, basic human necessities when they needed it. They had to wait. It was on, it was on Nazi time. Palestinians in the Gaza Strip are also not allowed to have food, water, basic human necessities when they need it. It's on Israel's time. Israel is constantly putting out propaganda to justify what they are doing to the Palestinian people. The same thing the Nazis did to the Jews. So I ask my Jewish people that stand with Israel. I need to make that note because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of Jews who do not stand with Israel because they are saying that this is a modern day Holocaust and they are not going to stand on the Nazi side. And you know what? Good for you. You are educated. You are smart. You are standing with the right side. But the ones who do stand with Israel, how are you condoning a modern day Holocaust? When you guys come on this app and you talk about what your family went through, the people that you guys lost during a holocaust at the hands of nazis and then get on the same app and stand with israel the nazis is it because you guys are drinking the kool-aid you are believing the propaganda that israel is giving you just like everyone else did back during the holocaust everything that she explained in that video is literally what the Palestinians are going through at the hands of Israel. I would think that more Jewish people would be standing with Palestine knowing the history of their ancestors and what they've been through. There are so, so, so many other similarities. So many people like to get into my comments talking about, oh yeah, go to, go to Palestine, go to the Gaza Strip. They'll beat you there. They'll grape you there they'll murder you there whatever they hate you blah 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 i don't care i'm a human okay and i have compassion for human life i really don't care if they wouldn't like me i don't care i can still admit what is happening is wrong and knowing how much that i know about the holocaust i refuse to support and stand with the nazis i will not be on the wrong side of history nope Absolutely not. If you are aware that back then they used propaganda to dehumanize Jewish people and to justify the mass murders of all of them, how can you not see that it's happening again? History always repeats itself. Don't be on the wrong side of history. Entire nation, stand by. So a lot of people are being really respectful and nice to you while stitching your videos trying to educate you. I'm not here to be nice, I'm not here to be respectful. Because I've gotten pushed beyond to a point where I am just done with people like you. Miss girl, the first thing I'm gonna need you to start doing is stop using the term war. I don't know what war you've seen or been in where the opposing side has all power to cut off food, water, and electricity. To a population of 2 million people 
where half of its people are under the age of 18. They're children. Israel is using white phosphorus, something that is banned worldwide, by the way, where upon contact, your lungs, inside out, they're going to burn to ashes. Guess what? Children are inhaling that. That is literally a war crime. All in the name of fighting Hamas. By the way, Hamas wouldn't have even existed if the illegal occupation of Palestine never existed. Speaking about occupation, you said that Jews are indigenous to the land of Palestine? Honey, if you guys are so indigenous, why is it taking you guys 75 years to occupy that land that you are so indigenous to? I'ma wait. You are having to mass murder millions of civilians to occupy a land that you are indigenous to. Israeli settlers are having to forcefully remove Palestinians from their homes since 1948. Killing them, beating them, and God knows what. You want to know why the Holocaust happened? Because people were being fed propaganda. It's like how you are being fed propaganda. You are condoning the genocide of millions of Palestinian people. And this genocide didn't just start three, four days ago. This started in 1948. Christian, Jewish, and Muslim Palestinians used to live in the land of Palestine. I need you to start spending less time on social media and actually read history books. If there are people in Israel that can condemn their own own government that can fully admit that they have illegally occupied Palestine why can't you as American I, I'll tell you why because your ego is up here but your brain cells and the ability to use your critical thinking skills is down there currently there are 700 children Palestinian children that are dead right now but y'all got your knickers in a twist hearing how Hamas beheaded 40 babies, which was proven to be false. Israel killing 700 children, 300 of them being women. Oh, that's totally normal. The international rejecting, uh, rejection of Israel's plan to formally annex even more uh, Palestinian land is based on two arguments. The annexation is a violation of international law and it defects uh, the, the prospects of a two-state solution. Now, the worldview of the international consensus uh, underscores as problematic the lack of of a re uh, reciprocal dialogue between the sides now the inability to compromise and the uh, unilateral actions that inhibit peace efforts at the same time it, it foregrounds conventional peace building process that emphasize mutual recognition as well as economic and security cooperation now there's basically a belief in the international community that universal international laws and norms can facilitate a just outcome to the conflict with two independent states living side by side this world's view is operating a diplomatic space that has lost all connection to the realities that ordinary Palestinians face. Now, the Palestinian losses are much more serious than it is uh, conventionally suggested on the save the two-state solution before it is too late type of thinking. It is uh, already a very late hour for prospects of Palestinian freedom or and sovereignty. A different list must therefore be adopted, which first and foremost underscores the logic that underlies the Israeli state settler colonialism. Now, academics have debated for decades whether Israel constitutes a settler colony. The methods of annexation certainly vary, but this variety should not uh, uh, detract us from naming and highlighting their underlying logic, which is the expulsion of native people from their lands. Now, this is the um, the problem of the Palestinian Israel struggle, and nowhere is this logic more visible than in the expulsion of settlements on occupied Palestinian lands. Now, not all the uh, majority of arguments that emphasize international law and the peace process are based on the dubious uh, assumption that uh, Israel is interested in seeing a Palestinian state established along the 1967 borders. But Israeli policies have clearly shown that this is not their goal or aspiration. Now, the list is long, but among those policies are the long-held policy of 
annexing East uh, Jerusalem, the building of the Upper Third Wall, the siege on Gaza, separating Palestinian land into uh, non-contiguous units, the constant imprisonment of Palestinians under the ch uh, the charge of being political, the occupation of checkpoints that make life impossible for ordinary Palestinians, hence encouraging their uh, immigration, the development of the Palestinian economy, the policy of home demolitions, the discriminatory policies against Palestinian citizens of Israel that deny them the ability to purchase and lease land and the, and the non-ending uh, stream of Israeli government's permits to build more settlements and expand existing ones. So can someone tell me where the propaganda is here by calling Israeli colonizers? Where is the propaganda here? I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to comment. From me, it's a bye-bye and see you in my next video. Error and biases get in the way of some recent posts, and that was wrong. I have built this platform on love and acceptance of all. I have always said that no matter what your race, religion, or sexual orientation is, all are welcome here. But I failed the Muslim community with some biased posts, and for that, I want to apologize. I'm going to take some time away and learn more about my Muslim cousins, specifically the Palestinians and their history and heritage. In my heart of hearts, I think the only answer is unity. We are stronger when we are together and love and support one another. I may not be able to fix the world out there, but I can be held accountable for my actions here. And I will continue to strive to make this a safe place for everyone. I do not support the actions of the Israeli government, and I do not support genocide. Any life lost is a life too many. I'm